The big day has arrived. Our system is fully up and running. Our system is fully installed. We got all the permits and we just got the okay from Tesla to turn on our system. This is an inverter right here. You turn this on, this turns DC to AC so your house can use it. And this is the emergency shut off, which you can um, shut it off. So we just turn both on. And we have the net meter right here. This system is actually pretty easy to understand. If you guys can see the number right here, 100, that is the net usage, the net amount that you have borrowed from the utility company. And then the one-on-one, which just appeared, is the net amount of electricity you are sending back to the grid. And if you guys can see this little arrow right here, when it goes to the left, that means that your system is generating energy and sending it back to the grid. As there's sunlight right now, it's going to the left and what we usually read left to right. So if it's moving in the other direction, going from left to right, that means you are using more electricity than your system is generating. So right now we're actually making energy. We're actually making money in a way because we're sending it back to the grid. Left to right, as you would read, that means that you are using more than your solar panels are generating. Today, it's a gloomy day. It's pretty rainy. Um, therefore, we're actually using energy instead of producing. But I'll include another video in here that shows you when it's sunny, it's going from right to left. So this is the setup right here. Boom, boom, boom. After getting your system installed and downloading the Tesla app, they actually have um, a system that's actually pretty unique and it looks very sleek. It's really easy to use. So this is the homepage right here. Right now, our solar panels are generating one kilowatt per hour of energy and 0.6 or 600 watts is going to power the home and we are sending 400 watts back to the grid and this depends on the environment and the conditions that are outside obviously when it's um raining and uh, cloudy like today it's very low and when it's very sunny this number can be drastically higher and if we go to energy usage this is um showing you how much you are using from the grid so we can see in the morning if we move this to the left and right we can see the times and how much energy you were uh, producing which is the yellow that's how much your uh, solar panels are producing and the blue is how much your house is using so we can see obviously in the morning when there's no sunlight you were using from the grid and if you press the um the gray that's energy from the grid when it's below we can see that uh during these peaks when the sun is usually out from let's say like eight to four which is when it's usually the highest then we are sending back the grid that's why it's below the graph in the gray and the good thing is you can go back weeks or you can go back months to see how much you were using and how much you were generating so this makes it easy to keep track of everything that is uh going on also um impact you can also see the impact so the energy offset that is referring to um how much solar energy you were uh, making over how much your house is using so we can see that we are producing a lot more energy than we are uh, consuming in the house at 143 percent and the self-powered is a percent directly powering your home so directly how much of the power is coming straight from the panels so 42 percent so 58 percent of the time we are getting energy from the grid so that's uh usually uh at night or in the morning and there are days when it's um i live in new jersey so there are a lot of days where it's raining or it's cloudy so that's why those numbers are a little bit lower um yeah it's actually really easy to use like i said you can see the year graph you can see the week graph well today's monday that's why there's only one bar but the month is usually the best and we can see that on most days we're sending back to the grid
Yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what the app was like and how to navigate through it, how to see the different settings uh, throughout the app. Um, you can see that this is for April. We have used uh, 266 kilowatts of energy and we have produced 392 kilowatts so far in April. So that's it.